is CBS 2 News at 5. A bombshell defense rocked a Long Island courtroom today. A lawyers, uh, the lawyers defending a teenage driver in a deadly car crash claim even though he was high on marijuana, that is not what caused the accident. They are calling it the pot defense. It sounds out there, but CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan is live in Mineola now to explain. Jennifer? Good evening. He was just 17 with a learner's permit only, a sports car and pot. A lethal combination, say prosecutors. But the defense thinks that unintentional getting high on drugs and not ac an accidental speed was the cause of the crash that claimed this young man's friend's lives. On the final day of trial, Joseph Beer's defense team dropped a bombshell. Their expert witness from Yale University testified that chronic marijuana users like Beer are not affected by the drug in the same way that occasional smokers are. So that the reason Beer crashed was accidental, going too fast around a blind curve. That as an habitual pot smoker, Beer was not impaired. If you are a frequent user, you do build up a tolerance. And the marijuana has less effect on your cognitive abilities, which are the abilities you need to drive a car. Jurors appeared captivated when the defense challenged prosecutors' claims that then 17-year-old Beer was high and impaired by marijuana when he drove at speeds over 100 miles an hour after smoking $20 worth of pot, crashing off the Southern Parkway, killing his 14 passengers, all childhood friends from Queens. The defense says THC in the blood is not a good measure of being high among chronic users. It is a fascinating uh, argument, Jennifer, but please understand, no one is arguing that it's okay to smoke marijuana and drive. Studies are conflicting, but most point to marijuana creating an increased risk to crash. To say that you smoke marijuana, therefore it doesn't impact your ability to drive a vehicle, is insanity. Dr. Jeff Reynolds leads the Council on Alcohol and Drug Dependency. In Colorado, which legalized marijuana a few months ago, we've already seen a tripling in fatal car crashes where the driver tests positive for marijuana. Marge Lee, victim of a drug driver, speaks for the victim's advocacy group dedicated. What's the message to the young people? What's the message to other people using marijuana? Keep doing it because the more you do it, the less affected you are? This is a terrible message to send to the public. The jury will reconvene on Monday, hear closing arguments, and begin deliberations in this controversial case. We're live tonight outside criminal court in Mineola, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.